Hello, we're here with Marvin. Again, Marvin is one of our candidates with Basics Assistance Dogs. To uh, He has went through our board and train and is ready for placement. He is here today as our example to be able to do a face rounding and daily eye cleaning. So we are going to go ahead and get started with him. Um, just so you remember, uh, we can also do Zoom mo mobile interactive video dog training as well. And you can see the links for that on our post. And you can also get the Sensi Deodorizing Dog Spray. Um, it comes in four different types. This one is the orange zest and nectar we'll be using on him at the end. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I did find... Um, we're ready to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we started last time we met was we did do some rounding of the face and we did do some of the eye cleaning. But since we're gonna go ahead and do the visor today as well, I am going to go back once more and make sure that we have everything just ready for that. So as you get started, you're gonna wanna brush your um, visor. This is called the visor. So you're gonna wanna brush that visor forward and we're gonna wanna make sure that there are no knots in the coat and on the face because that's what we're focusing on right now today um, I am brushing just forward to make sure all of the knots are out and again I have the dog tethered to the table for his safety and mine alrighty and I do need a brush let me grab my brush so for the insides of the eyes um, this is where we always end up with the goopies. So we do want to make sure that we've got that sticking out so we can take care of that again today and on both sides. And as I do that, it's just popping out that hair. Um, another piece of hair that you're going to want to try and get done is these hairs that go inside of the mouth. These hairs actually will wrap themselves around the teeth and cause the teeth to decay. So it is extremely important that we pop those out towards the end and get rid of those as well. So let me just try and knock that up. There you go. Okay, so what we're gonna look at is the rounding of the face first. We're gonna go back and we're gonna do that again. Again, you had the links for the curved scissors, which were less expensive than the curved thinning shears. Um, these are the preferred tool that we would be using, but if you can't afford these, then I definitely recommend these because they're rounded and they're going to help you do the job um, much better than anything that you could get that is not rounded. So again, we're just going to go back over and round us where we're at, and we're going to show the difference again between the two before we go on from here, okay? So as you can see, I'm just rounding the face. And I'm just taking off the very least amount. Now, if you're wanting to take off more than this, you can definitely do that. Um, you're going to actually see the cut. Nope. You're going to see the cut with this as opposed to when we use the curved thinning shears. You might not see the cut as much. All righty. And again, I'm going to brush this forward. Okay. And I'm going to have to stand because I think I'm a little too short today. Okay, so right here we're gonna look at this visor. And as we look at the visor, you can see that it's um, going into his eyes. So what we're gonna wanna do one more time before we go back through, so you can see this cut line when we use the curved. When I use these, the difference is you're not gonna see the cut line as much. You're gonna, it's gonna round in much nicer especially if you're wanting to leave some of the hair. Now, if you're not wanting to leave some of the hair, if you're wanting to just um, cut them shorter, then the clippers are gonna do just a fine job as well. And, um, and then you'll get a nice shorter cut that you might wanna, it'll be able to last you longer. Okay, so here we go. And we're gonna look at the visor. Now the visor, as you can see, is a little jagged. So what we're gonna wanna do is just try to cut straight across. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my fingers in here under the, under the jaw and I'm gonna hold some of the hair. So I'm holding the head down to make sure I have a good grip and I'm just gonna cut straight across, okay? And I'm cutting the very least. We can always go back a second time. I'd rather cut less than cut too much, okay? So for this one, you can see that we're cutting just the least amount. We're going straight across, okay? So now with this one, you can tell like the line is very dramatic, okay? We can see that the line is cut very straight. 
Instead of cutting the line so straight, if you wanted to, you could cut it with your uh, curved thinning shears and you can see that the line becomes much less dramatic and it comes becomes much more natural. And as you get that line, then you can start going back up and it'll round into the top of the head. Okay. And as now you can see, now we can see their eyes, okay? I am gonna go ahead and we're gonna clip in here to get this off. And I am gonna use scissors, which you probably will use as well because of the amount of, uh, to try and get the clippers in by their face might just be that much too much for yours, especially because you're already gonna be nervous. It's um, very dangerous for you to try and do that. So I do recommend that you use um, that you use your scissors. Um, if you do not have the rounded, definitely use something that has a curvature in it or uh, the round the rounded tip so you don't cut the dog, okay? And as you can tell, he is just a great dog for grooming. Um, he holds his sit stay very, very well. So we don't have a problem getting him all groomed up, okay? And again, this goop in the eyes is something that you can maintain on a daily basis. It doesn't have to accumulate until you go to the groomer, especially now that you won't be going to the groomer anytime soon. So you can wipe that out with just a wipey to keep that maintained. And then we're going to cut it short so it's just not even there and we don't even have that issue, okay? And as I uh, brushed it out like that and rubbed it, it actually stuck out and gave me itself right there for me to be able to cut down short. See, so we see his eyes, they're much more cleaner. And we see that that goopy stuff is gone out of his eyes. That's the stuff that'll cause an eye infection. We don't need to have that sitting in there in their eyes. Hi, Maria. Maria is um, Marvin's foster in-home trainer. And she has done a great job with him, getting him acclimated to a home, acclimated to kids and people. And so we just really, really appreciate Maria. Thanks for watching, hon. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and blend in the head. Now when you blend in the head, and I didn't grab my clippers out, we are gonna use a guard comb. And I use a guard comb just to make it easier on myself. And for you, it would be much, much easier than you trying to blend this with thinning shears. Um, I don't know about you, unless you're a hairstylist, you're probably not familiar with using thinning shears and it's probably going to be enough for you to try and just round that face. So for us, we are going to go ahead and use um, the clippers and I'm going to put a guard comb on it for us so we can, um, it'll just give us an easier step, okay? Now, of course, if you are well versed in how to use um, thinning shears, then by all means, go ahead and round it. That's totally fine. But for us, it's gonna just be a little, um, it's a little easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go right along the top just to um, blend that in. Instead of me having to shape it, it's gonna naturally shape itself with, these guard, with the guard comb. And I used a zero guard comb on my Andis. I didn't even bother using the walls. If you want to use the walls, that's more than you're more than welcome to. But I would use um, the longest clipper until you get that desired effect. Okay. So all I'm doing is going along the sides of the head, so everything is even. Okay. Because we've already rounded to a certain extent, so we're just making this even right here. Okay. And we're just gonna go back one more time over. Take care not to hit the eye. Okay. So it's just a little bit of a cheat for you if you're not well versed in using clippers in the first place. It's, it's enough for you to probably just be doing this. So don't feel bad, that's totally fine. As you can see, I'm just going around the head, going with the natural line of the face in the natural direction of the hair. And I'm gonna go back over the other side Okay, and then don't worry if you feel like you didn't get it um, completely because we can always go back through with our thinning shears then at the end. Alrighty, as you can see I pulled out the ears. We're not trying to 
do anything with the ears with our clippers. Um, we are always going to try and do those with our, uh, with our rounded scissors. Aw, Maria, you are so welcome. You are such a great asset to our team. Thank you so, so much for all your work. All righty. So as you can see, that just gave us a little bit of a head start. Um, so you're not having to try and do all of that by hand. That, that would be a lot to try and do by hand, especially if that's not something you're comfortable with in an area exactly where you're not probably comfortable trying to cut your dog's hair. So right here, which is what he hates, I'm trying to brush out all of this hair that goes inside the mouth because like I said, it is so important that you get that cut down, okay? And he of course does not like that. So what I'm doing with the brush is I'm just brushing it out so I have it to, to get. And I'm just gonna go with my thinning shears Getting the very tips, we're not trying to, we're wanting to make sure that we're not anywhere near the skin, okay? But this will just save your dog's teeth, and it will save your dog's bad breath. If you're having bad breath with the dog, uh, you may find that they have rotten hair stuck in their teeth, and a lot of times that's what's giving you the bad breath at home as well. So we just wanted to try and get as much of that hair out of the mouth as we could. And it looks like we did a pretty good job there. And again, yes, he's got the browning on the face and we've already did that. And again, if you maintain that on a daily basis, that could come uh, away a little bit more. But honestly, some dogs just have that tearing. Um, there is a little bit more goop here that I would rather leave, that I would rather not leave. So I am gonna brush that out. Um, I'm trying to get it to stand up. So I can clip it. Um, the goal would be so it's not anywhere near his skin. Okay. And again, I'm using the curved thinning shears because it's just going to give me a much natural-er cut. Okay. Be very, very careful. They're very, very sharp. All righty. Well, that got in a lot of that, and it made our head a little bit more rounder. Now, as you can see, as we cut through, I feel like that's a little bit more than I want there. So I am going to go back and I'm going to use my thinning shears just to give me a little bit more roundness here. Okay, as you can see, that's what this is designed for, this round. These round scissors make a great and easy way for you to be able to cut your pet's hair. And I think we found them and they were not that expensive. I think they were 45 online. Um, I hadn't looked recently. So that, that's not too bad. Um, I use them for all over the dog. So literally they are worth it. Um, so I'm not taking down the, the neck right now. So I am gonna cut this to make it a little even because you can see it's a little, a little out of whack right back there. So that's pretty much it. We are gonna go ahead and stop at that. Um, on Wednesday, we're going to do the ears and we're going to do the teeth, how to brush the teeth. And as you can see, his teeth are not bad at all. Um, he is six, but he has great teeth still. And a lot of that is just from the always good when you get a call in the middle of the live stream. So please, please like it and share it. And uh, if you have any further questions that you want us to address, please add them in and we'll go ahead and do a video on that as well. And we look forward to seeing you back on Wednesday. Thanks so much.